It's time for today's travel and cruise industry news. With the latest from travel and cruises around the world, here's your host, Chili Falls. Hey, good morning and welcome. Whoa, I got an echo again. Where is that coming from? Can you guys hear an echo? Or is it just going to be me again? Okay. Hopefully you don't hear it. So I'll take the headset off. And hopefully you can hear me without the headset on. So I don't have to listen to the echo. Messed up my hair. All right. Back to the start. Welcome to Thursday's Travel and Cruise Industry News. On this, the 21st day of March, 2024, we got breaking news this morning out of, uh, where's that out of? That's out of Ottawa. Ottawa, Canada, breaking news. The groundhog is in protective custody. So says Laura. I don't know. It's 10 below, 20 below, all this snow coming. So they got the groundhog in protective custody. I like that. I, I was a good laugh this morning, Laura. Thank you for that. And good morning, Mike. Mike's with us, too. I've got a bunch of stories this morning. There's a lot of little stories, but it's got, went together to make a pretty good show, I think. And it's a lot of things that I normally don't get to talk about. The lead story today is the 105th anniversary deal from a cruise line. Milestone for a new Disney ship. Also today, Viking kicks off the river high season. Huge increase for Caribbean traffic. Portsmouth new cruise terminal is a big success. And this is especially for hot air Tom, who by the way, just popped in. Uh, this is especially for hot air Tom. The deadline has been set for the American Queen uh, voyages a uh, bids, uh, hot air time. So you need to get your bid in pretty quick. I'll tell you about that when we get to it. That and lots more here at 11 o'clock this morning. Uh, today is a National French Bread Day. Uh, I do like that quite a bit. Uh, and it's also uh, a day to celebrate any of our autistic friends. So, just saying, it's a good day for the autistic community. And it's French bread day, which I like the French bread. Amanda gets loaves of French bread quite often and slices them up for dinner. So, I could dig, dig, dig. Come on, Tom. I can deal with that. All right. If you're listening via the podcast, you can always access the podcast via my blog, which is accessadventure.net or wherever you get your podcast from. To search for travel and cruise industry news on any of the big hitters, uh, Heart Radio, Podchaser, Pandora, Stitcher, Amazon Music, uh, who else? Apple Podcasts, uh, TuneIn, any of them. Search for travel and cruise industry news and uh, up pops the back guy. And we talk about cruising. We talk about travel. We talk about my opinions. Uh, who knows? Whatever comes up. We have a very in, active and engaging chat room. Uh, I think that they get over there and talk amongst themselves. Pay absolutely no attention to me, which that's just fine. All right. A couple things to discuss today uh, before we get to the news portion of today's show. I've been talking a little bit about our uh, cruise ship doctor group cruise coming up, uh, written by Ivan Cox, who's written a number of books. Uh, and it was just an article uh, yesterday in LA Weekly, by the way, which mentioned the cruise as well. But here's the deal, folks. This is going to be November the or sale, November the 16th, on the Norwegian Epic from Port Canaveral. Uh, it's going to have a, a first day at sea, go to Puerto Plata and the Dominican Republic. 
I go to St. Thomas um, uh, Tortola at British Virgin Islands, which is one of my favorite spots. I did another day at sea, uh, then Great Stir of Key in the Bahamas, which is a private island for Norwegian. And hopefully by then I will be able to get on the new accessible uh, tenders that they have at Great Stirrup Key. Four times I've gone to Great Stirrup Key and been weathered out. Couldn't get on the tender, the new tenders to drive. So I want to do that. Uh, so I'll be on the on the cruise as well as will the author, Ivan Cox. And I will tell you this right up front, folks. The first 10 customers that book the cruise are going to get a free copy of the book sent to them before the cruise, okay? Which is a pretty good deal. You'll have it out on the cruise. You can have it signed. Uh, he's going to be with us all over. Probably do a little entertaining. I'm not going to get into the details of that. Uh, we may be doing some breakfast meetings. Who knows what all we're going to do? He's going to be around quite a bit. Some readings. Uh, you know, who knows? Uh, the one thing that we can't do, unfortunately, he can't actually sell books on the cruise. Norwegian doesn't allow that. But we're working on ways to get around that. So we'll see. Be nice if we could get them in the, like in the gift shop or something. But anyway, book the cruise. And you'll get a book free. So, all right, so here's the deal, folks. Inside cabins. Now, this is double occupancy. If you're solo and interested in going with me on this one, you got to contact me because we got to, I got to do a little different things on to get the solo pricing. But anyway, here's the deal uh, for double occupancy inside cabins start at $815.02, $815.02. That includes. The cruise, of course, all taxes and port charges, and your choice of two of the four perks. Now, the four perks are a drinks package, a Wi-Fi package, a specialty dining, uh, you know, one specialty dining meal, or $50 uh, credit for excursions. Can pick like the drinks package and Wi-Fi. That's the it's 150 minutes of Wi-Fi. You know, I still have to get the Wi-Fi, you know, the premium Wi-Fi package, but it gives you enough to to you know call home a few times or check on things that check your email or whatever. So, but anyway, the drinks package alone, okay, eight hundred fifteen dollars and two cents for inside cabins. The balconies start at twelve fourteen o two per person, and that includes all taxes and port charges, and all four of the perks. Then we've got mini suites, uh, three different categories of mini suites that start at thirteen twenty eight o two per person. And you get um, all taxes and port charges are covered in that and the four perks. So that's the deal. It's eight days, seven nights. It's going to be a great cruise. It's going to be a fun cruise. Uh, I just totally enjoy Ivan. Uh, he's been on this show before. Uh, we've been chatting quite a bit now on getting the cruise going and promoting and hopefully, folks, I'm going to have graphics by tomorrow. That's at least the plan. My graphics department is working on it, but has not finished it yet due to some technical issues that they have. My graphics department. That's John up in Minnesota. And they up on Alaska. That's my graphics department because now I'm terrible at that stuff. So anyway, I'll talk about it. 
I'll post it. Anyway, we'll have some graphics tomorrow. And, uh, and a link. To, we'll have all sorts of things that's coming. That's you know, in, under construction. But I wanted to give you a full rundown of the crews. All right, the next thing, uh, well, I'm going to do two things. First, I'll talk about Will Power Chairs because this is my friend, Sylvia. Everybody knows Sylvia. Sylvia Longmire, and that's the C2 Power Chair. Sylvia, and I, I can't say what this is involved, but just found out that she has a part on a network television show. It's not a huge part. But it's a part on a network television show. She's under uh, 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 no, you know, a clause, so she can't say yes what it's going to be. But congratulations to Sylvia on that. Now, the, that's not the reason that I put her picture up. Uh, the reason I put her picture up is because this is the the spring celebration from Will Power Chairs all month long. If you purchase a Model F, that's the the new. Uh, the lightweight fold up, put it in the trunk of your car chair, uh, or the Model C2, which is the one I use because I'm a big fat guy. It's a much sturdier, heavier duty chair. Sylvia also uses the C2, but not because she's big and fat like I am. She's a gorgeous, lovely lady, but it's much better for her personal situation. All right, uh, C2 is a really, that's a top line, top of the notch. Uh, not that the Model F isn't, it's just it's a different thing. All right, you buy either one of those during the month of March, you're going to get 250 bucks to use toward accessories for the chair. Now, if you happen to go to the website, the Scoot Around Store website, or call on the toll-free number, all you have to do is tell them code Chili, and you're going to get not only a discount on the chair, you're also going to get the $250 bucks, uh, for the accessories. Not a bad deal. Goes through the 31st of uh, uh, what month is this? The 31st of March this year, 2024. All right. Uh, next thing uh, comes from uh, Michael and Donna Philippus. You know, they're in Bermuda. Uh, I think we've talked about them several times before. Okay. So they had this nice little intimate uh, dinner at the Hamilton Princess there in Hamilton, Bermuda. So this little uh, intimate dinner was held uh, uh, in this room. <laughs> and it had this big fancy uh, menu. I don't know if you can read any of that or not. I had to blow it up to, to see it. Uh, but anyway, this looks like uh, a little, uh, maybe some stuffed mushrooms uh, with a little pasta, maybe. Um, this is, uh, of course, a, a salad with some toast points. This is a lamb. Um, I think it's a lamb roast with some veggies. And this was the swordfish. I'm not, I think probably Michael had the lamb and Donna had the swordfish and then a variety of little desserts there that they had. So that's a, a quite a, quite a deal. Uh, I just noticed that, I wonder how she sent that. If I, I can look real quick because I just got a message that uh, Elizabeth had sent some pictures to. It's probably on my phone, so I can't do that. I'll I'll bring you some uh, some pictures tomorrow from Elizabeth on location. She's over in Cozumel, and I'm sure by now she's at No Name Bar, 
uh, with Alma and crew. And uh, she just sent, sent stuff on, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, it's, it's the, uh, we, we talk on it all the time on the phone. And I don't have it on the computer, though. It only goes on the phone. WhatsApp. Good thing. Brain lock. All right, so um, let's get on with the news. How about that, since we're supposed to do that? The uh, top story today comes from uh, Holland America, who's celebrating, it's hard to believe, they're celebrating 151 years at sea. Of course, Holland's a Carnival Corporation brand that operates a fleet of 11 ships. They unveiled their anniversary sale to honor its 151st year of sailing the high seas, Guests booking on cruises between March the 20th of this year and April the 30th. So you've got uh, roughly six weeks. Can take advantage of cruise fare discounts of up to 45%, onboard credits of up to $300 per stateroom, 50% reduced deposits, and free cruise fare for the third and fourth uh, guests. If you've got a family, uh, three and uh, four guests are free on select sailings. The onboard credit can be as high as 300 per stateroom based on cabin category and cruise length. Funds can be used toward dining venues, spa treatment, shore excursions, uh, beverages, uh, anything like that. Holland America celebrated its milestone 150th anniversary last year with two special transatlantic crossings. Our friend Bubba and uh, Lynn were on those crossings and a slew of special events held in the U.S. and Europe in late 2022 and 2023. Now based in Seattle, Holland America was founded in Rotterdam in 1873 to commemorate the sailings mark the anniversary, one to New York and one to Rotterdam. The line became a brand of Carnival Corporation in 1989. So congratulations to Hall American. Uh, this is a really good program, uh, folks. And you know my feelings about Holland America. I love them. Uh, if you want to try one out, call me, uh, contact me, and we'll see if we can't do something. They got, you know, I'm doing a uh, princess trip to uh, Alaska, which we'd love to have you join us on that. Uh, there's Holland America going to Alaska. There's Holland America that sail the world. So, uh, you know, take a look, folks. Call me. It's a, a really good deal for the next six weeks. All right. I'll be back with uh, some more news after a quick break from one of our fine network sponsors. The next story this morning, folks, the Kiel Lang ceremony for Disney Destiny took place at Meyer Werft Shipyard in Poppenburg, Germany. The laying of the Kiel marks the official start of construction on a new cruise ship as the blocks begin to come together to form the ship. Disney Destiny, debuting in 2025, will be the third ship in its class. The other two are Disney Wish and Disney Treasure. Disney Cruise Line also has a new and largest cruise ship, the Disney Adventure, that will home port in Singapore and sell cruises to Asia. When it comes to river cruising in Europe, the name Viking is a familiar one not only for its reputation as a good value, but for its market share. There are 55 long ships at last count, each providing spacious staterooms and suites with balconies, indoor and outdoor dining venues, eco-friendly hybrid engines, free Wi-Fi, and more. Itineraries of varying lengths are offered in the Rhine, Maine, Danube, Seine, Rhone, Duro, Moselle, and Elbe rivers typically from eight to 15 days. 
from Amsterdam and Avignon to Salzburg and Vienna. River cruises, cruisers can crisscross the continent on the long ships each with a capacity of under 200 guests. Viking also has announced a new winter itinerary that will kick off in December of 2024. The cruise line in 2023 revealed it would become the first river line to offer year-round itineraries through the winter season. It launched this new program with one cruise, Treasures of the Rhine, and prompted the voyage as a way to experience the river without summer crowds and with better access to landmarks for touring. The new 2024 cruise is a 10-day treasure of the Danube, which will operate between Budapest and Passau through early March of 2025. The treasures of the Rhine will be repeated in the winter of 2024 and 2025 as well. Now, one thing I'll point out before I take that picture down, folks, uh, I had a picture, but it wasn't clear of the long ship. That's a long ship. Picture three or four of those stacked side by side at a port. That's the way I, I call it stacked parking. But that's one of the reasons that handicapped folks just can't do river cruises in uh, Europe. There are also very few of them have um, uh, elevators. So you can't go from floor to floor in a wheelchair or a scooter. Same token, when they stack park like that, you have to get on a ship, go around the ship, get off, go to the next ship, go around that, get up. It's just not feasible for a wheelchair or a scooter to do that. So that's just one of the reasons that I am so totally interested in America uh, and the river cruises that we've got going on over here now because they're accessible. I'd like to prove that to you guys. I'm working on that. So we'll see. But anyway, congratulations to Viking. They do a terrific job over there for, for you folks that are ambulatory. I'd love to get them. I'd love to, love to be a way to get uh, accessible cruises going over there. But you got the lower bridges. They can't have elevators. Yeah, there's just a lot of reasons. Okay. All right, let's see what the next uh, the next story this morning, folks. The Caribbean Tourism Organization reported a 14.3% increase in international visitors in 2023, driven by robust demand from the United States and a record-breaking increase in cruise tourism. The cruise sector in particular, particular witnessed a 56.8% increase, bringing an estimated 31.1 million cruise passengers to the Caribbean and making it a crucial component of the regional's tourism economy. I, you know, I normally don't talk about percentages, but that was pretty outstanding. All right, this is over for our friends over on the other side of the pond. Since it opened in August 23, the Portsmouth International Sports state-of-the-art cruise terminal has been extremely successful. In its initial three months alone, the terminal has seen a remarkable 75,000 guests embarking and disembarking from their voyages. Portsmouth Cruise Terminal was built to bring cruise passengers back to the city, which is a long-standing maritime tradition, while a nearby Southampton focuses on uh, large cruise ships. Portsmouth cruise facilities are more suited to boutique, expedition, and luxury cruise ships. And yet they're still getting really good numbers. So. All right. So hot air, Tom, this is for you. The deadline to put in bids for American Queen Voyages cruise fleet is nearing as a Texas bankruptcy court has set March the 25th at 4 p.m. local time 
as a deadline for interested parties to make qualified bids. The assets include four paddle wheel cruise ships for river operations, two coastal vessels, and a summer charter deal for an exhibition ship that extends to 2021. So you're getting some built-in business. Parties are able to bid on individual assets or all of them per court documents. Depending on the number of bids and their qualifications, an auction could be held to determine the winner. So hot air time, if you're uh, in the running and uh, your bid is close to somebody else, they might uh, call you up on the phone and do an auction. And the auction, if necessary, would be held on the 27th at 9 a.m. Texas time. And they auctioned it off and determined the winner, and that's awarded. You'll know that day. So, hot air, Tom, get your your get get your bid in for heaven's sakes, or anybody else out there that might be interested. So, uh, the other thing, folks, that, that I, I was going to mention this morning, and again. It managed to eat. It managed to eat the picture. So uh, I will just, uh, you'll have to picture this one in your mind unless I put it in the wrong place, which is always, no, it just didn't give it to me. Well, let me see if it's here quickly. No, it's not. So it didn't say that was the problem. No, there it is. All right. Now let's see if that loads up. Yeah. Okay. So we do have one more story this morning, folks before I go over to see who's fussing at me. And this comes from Hurdy Gruden. I love to say that word. Hurdy Gruden. Now, folks, that's officially now HX. I wonder if they're related to X. Anyway, Hurdy Gruden has extended its 20, 2024 to 2025 Northern Lights Promise beginning in mid-September instead of October. Over, according to a press release, the policy gives guests a second chance to see the lights if they do not occur within sight of the ship during a voyage of 11 days or more. So if you go on an 11-day cruise, folks, on Hurdy Gooden or on HX, as they're officially called, and you don't see the, the uh, northern lights, you get to go again. In addition to extending the sailing uh, period, the company will continue to offer select astronomer-hosted sailings during the seasons and carry that on into the 25-26 season as well. The astronomy voyages offer an opportunity to sail with renowned, astrom renowned astronomers, say that six times, and enjoy lectures and northern lights viewings on board. So, Again, folks, I uh, heard Gruden for HX. It ain't cheap, but they do some really neat things. So I don't know. Just think. All right. So let's go over in the chat room. See if I've gotten sex bomb today. Uh, Laura, Mike, hot air, Tom. Selena says hello. Gary Older Than Dirt's here. Uh, Selena now says, Hal, I have a feeling this is a sex bomber. Todd's with us. Good morning, everyone. Chili, what would be your bucket list cruise? Mine is Hawaii. I have a bunch of them. But probably the top of my list, I would love to sail out of Fort Lauderdale or Miami and circumnavigate South America all the way around and end up back in Fort Lauderdale. So you go through the canal, which I've been through the canal several times, but then you, you, you go through the canal and turn left and go all the way around. I would love that. And yeah, Hawaii, I've been to Hawaii, but I, I love to. I've not cruised to Hawaii. Uh, the other, the other bucket list would, would maybe 
uh, out of stay out of Vancouver and go up and do uh, an Alaska uh, on the way up and then cross over and do like Japan and an Asian cruise on the back end of it. That would be up there for my, th those would be the two at the top of my bucket list. So thanks for asking, Todd. Uh, Emily's with us up in New York. Probably is it snowing up there, Emily, or did, did it stay north of you? Hot Air Thompson's graphic department managed a Charmin artwork by Cottonelle. Yeah, well, that's pretty close. They're, they're better at it than I am. I have the, the only thing artistic in my body, folks, is my ability to run my mouth. Uh oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm just not creative in that way. Uh, Emily says, way to go, Sylvia. Yeah, I'm just, I'm tickled for that. I'm tickled for the community, too. You know, you don't, you don't get a chance to see a disabled person on a network television show very often, you know? I, I, I don't know what it is. I do know that her, her, you know, when she read her lines and tried out and whatever uh, it's called in the business, uh, casting call, I guess it is. That was done in Orlando. So maybe it's a Florida based show and i don't know that at all folks i'm guessing totally guessing because she's not saying because of her uh, uh, contract that she's signed all right bob's with us good morning bob sylvia also has the stand-up mobility equipment that i saw um i think that was on an excursion that she was on. I don't think she has it at home. She might. She's got a lot of stuff at home. But I think that was on an excursion that uh, that got her into one of those. Uh, but yeah, and she, but she uses the exact same chair I do, only uh, she doesn't have the wide butt chair. Uh, hers is a little thinner that fits her butt. It's you know, I couldn't even sit on that. <laughs> yeah, I might get one leg to sit on that. Um, there's Steve. Hey, Steve, good morning to you. Uh-oh. Modal Ayman Kamara says hello. Got a feeling that's another sex bomber. How can I make legitimate income online? Can anyone tell me? Uh, not on this show, folks. This is a travel and cruise industry news show. Can I get rid of that? Let's see. If I don't know. So if I show one of these. No, that doesn't give me that. It starred, so I don't want to do that. I'm... I'm not sure I can delete those like I used to be able to. All right, uh, Gretchen's with us. Good morning, Gretchen. She's out in Ohio. I'm going to go to Ohio. I promise you, folks, I'm going up there for the eclipse. So Emily says, no cold, just uh, no snow, just cold. It was, um, it got down in the 30s again last night, but it's going to be up, you know, up in the, upper 60s again today which it was yesterday uh when i went out to the dentist by the way the dentist uh, thing uh you know, i was in the chair for two hours uh it was not as bad as most of my dental appointments go uh they did deep cleaning you know i have periodontal issues uh but this was the regular dentist uh and they did their form of deep cleaning but which I've never been able to do this for years. They didn't give me full mouth injections to do it. They gave me this gel that they squirted around the gums. It tasted kind of like bananas. And just went to it. And I, I was very comfortable doing it. I had eh, two little places where I had really bad pockets that were 
a little sensitive, but I didn't. I mean, I didn't throw things or scream or anything like that, which, yeah, that's normally. The worst part of the whole thing yesterday was the first freaking XS of X-ray. I hate doing teeth X-rays. I gagged. <laughs> it was awful. But anyway, I, I mean, that's part of the whole process. But it went well. I have one tooth that's actually cracked. So I've got to go back uh, six weeks or something. So the closest appointment they had because the dentist wants to address the cracked tooth issue, which will be like filling a cavity, sort of. I hate dentists. But anyway, she was a neat lady, the, the, the uh, what do you call them, hygienist that I had yesterday. Her name was Elizabeth, so I told her about uh, our Elizabeth that's in Cozumel today. Uh, we're in the path of totality. I believe it's three hours and 43 minutes, Gretchen. Schools are called off for the day. Wow, they're expecting big crowds. Okay. Uh, Janice Flynn is here. Says, hello, how are you doing? There's another name I'm not familiar with. So uh, welcome aboard. So appreciate having, uh, having you here as well. All right, guys, that's going to wrap me up for today. Um, same time, same channel tomorrow. We'll do more of the same thing. And uh, maybe I can do it without screwing up like I did today. Again, I have no idea why I had the echo. Uh, but uh, nobody said anything, so I assume y'all couldn't hear the echo. So, anyway, that's it for the day, guys. As always, oh, thump, smack that thumbs up button. Uh, we got over the... Uh, uh, 5450 mark so it's, I think we're 5452 this morning so uh, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it doesn't cost you anything the bell notification tells you when I go live or when I post a new video had a technical issue on getting the video up this morning so I'm going to be doing that right after the show uh, but anyway there'll be a couple videos up today and of course I had a, a posting this morning a nice posting on on uh, a block. So that much got done properly. Uh, anyway, I'll see everybody back here tomorrow. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, think about cruising. Hopefully one day soon we'll all get together on the high seas, maybe to Alaska, maybe on the uh, cruise doctor cruise, uh, maybe to uh, Canada and Quebec or back to Boston or transatlantic which I'll be getting put together here for everybody to, if they want to join us. In the next, uh, I got too many things on my plate. In the next couple of weeks, we'll get a whole bunch of things out on the cruising for Chili deal, cruising with Chili deal. So, all right, that's it for the day, guys. Thanks for being here once again. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Later, y'all. I regularly post videos on all facets of the travel and cruise industry. So if you like to keep up with the latest in cruise ships, ports of call, cruises themselves, chilly chats, and travel and cruise industry news, just hit the little subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when a new video is up or we go live. This video was produced by Chili's Cruises.